Hello. So, um, I wanted to sort of go over a different chat log. Um, and the one that I've been thinking about doing was the guy that you can see on your screen. The reason being, I've always found this segment from To Catch a Predator one of the more interesting ones. Um, it's one of the, the certain ones that I just repeatedly watch over and over again. This is one of them. David K is it David K is the another one the 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 fucking rabbi um and Lauren obviously and this one I find them the more memorable this for obvious reasons that, I mean you can see on your screen but there is um you know it, it's just this segment is really it's the emotion that he displays and how pathetic he looks and he's got so much to lose as well. It's like, you watch somebody like John Canelli, it's entertaining, but he's like, it's just another day for him, isn't it? That's why he turned up at my, <laughs> that's why like he turned up at McDonald's the day after, just came to get something to eat. <laughs> so funny. Um, yeah, so let's, uh, I'll just, we'll just have a quick look at the um, footage before I get, you know, a very quick look so I don't get a strike. Um. Yeah. So let's have a let's have a quick gander, shall we? I promise you, with my life, it's like he's so intense, isn't he? But of course, it's all a bit of an act. What I mean by that is, you know, he's 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 kind of. His survival tactics, isn't it? He's like trying his best to convince Chris that he's this honourable, misunderstood guy that's made a silly mistake and, you know, I'll get counselling. And you know what? At that moment when he's saying that, he probably believes that. I mean, like, you, you're watching someone's... This is one of them moments in the show where you are watching someone's life get destroyed and it's all evident. Like, some people just have a sort of blase reaction to it uh, and they run off or you don't get to see the reaction or they hold it together well or they just say, oh, well, shoot me. But this guy completely fucking falls apart. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> that's another like sir please <laughs> it's like <laughs> it is funny isn't it i suppose we can laugh at him because it's justice being served you know what i mean it's like and i remember i think there was the um the uncut the predator raw where I believe Chris said, like, um, oh, there is a tendency to feel sorry for these guys because you are watching someone in extreme distress. Um, but then he says, like, then you go back to the chat log. You know what I mean? Which is what we always say, isn't it? Um, you know what I mean? Uh, let's... Um, so the reason I wanted to... I mean, this guy got five years, by the way, and the chat log is one of the longest ones. That's why... That's one of the reasons why I wanted to um, to cover it, really. Um, yeah, so let's um, let's have a look, shall we? Now, I got this off the Perverted Justice website, uh, and for some reason, um, it just says fourteen-year-old decoy, and I'm not fucking editing it to put colour code in for the for each different person because that's a lot it took me fuck it it took me about 20 minutes just to copy and paste it onto a word document <laughs> um you know what i mean uh and and as well you know we touched upon this in previous videos married and looking for fun i mean you know can't be more straightforward I don't, actually ironically i don't think he actually was married i think he was with I think he was just with someone who had like, but he had a stepdaughter. You know what I mean? Um, put my phone. Um, so let's, yeah. I mean, I don't know whether I've never looked at this chat log before, so it's kind of like, you know, we're kind of going through it together for the first time, unless you've already read it. 
Um, hi, hi, how are you doing? Uh, yeah, that was that a good Jim Klein impression. Um, fourteen-year-old decoy. I don't know why that uh, must be a little bit of a legal issue, but I don't know why they just put fourteen-year-old decoy. Um, you know, so I don't think it really fucking matters, does it? Um, hi, fine, A S L. 14, female, Georgia, you. 33, male, Hinesville, Georgia. Cool. What is your name? Edit. All oh, right, so there's there's some kind of um, some kind of an issue, isn't there, with the screen name? Um, must be, maybe it's something that happened at court. Maybe his defense tried some kind of crazy name, like the name fucking hypnotized me to behave like a fucking sex offender or something, you know what I mean? Like, you will die unless you come on to me uh girl or something you know what i mean maybe that was it um uh that's an roberto hang on a minute roberto isn't he rolando has he fucking changed his name okay well whatever um that's a nice name thank you were in g a r u spelt were on your tit um, like by Columbus, cool. Um, you like older guys? Mm, that's kind of interesting, isn't it? So he's not beating around the bush, is he? Um, straight away <laughs> beating around the bush. I'm not gonna go there. Um, uh, yeah. So straight away he's like, you know, there's no kind of buttering her up, and uh, you can trust me, and I'm a good guy, and I've got fucking. You know, two dogs that are your age or whatever. <laughs> I've got two canines that are your age. Um, is you know, like you like older guys. Um, being up front, I suppose. Yeah. Um, she replies. Um, you got a pick or something, and she's saying that to him. Saying that though, do we know it's not a boy? But I suppose, like in the chat. The, uh, sorry, in the segment, it's quite clear. Because, like, what makes you think it's my daughter? Um, married and looking for fun. Yeah, and profile. K, me too. Cool. Hold on. K, damn, you're very sexy. You have a boyfriend? Oh, that was in the show, wasn't it? Thank you. My pick is slow, so I ain't seen yours yet. Um, it's interesting because there's no specific, like, grooming tactics. It's all, like... A straightforward conversation with, you know, do you like older guys? It points to the fact that he isn't specifically looking for younger people. And his name, like, for instance, with uh, Bald Beaver Hunter, there is no getting around what he was after. As I've mentioned in previous videos. Um, this guy, I, I, I mean, it might sound ridiculous to suggest... Um, Please, uh, you know, the screen name is, please don't arrest me um, because I'm a pedo, pedo, you know what I mean? Uh, but you would think that they wouldn't be stupid enough to have screen names like that, but some of them do. You know, obviously Bob Beaver onto was a fucking something not right upstairs, wasn't he? You know, he's a few dollar mixed short of a quarter, as we say in England. Um, you know, a few sandwiches short of a picnic. Uh, <laughs> uh Hey, I tell you what, I gotta go out for like thirty minutes. I'll be back in a few, okay? Hmm. Add me. We can keep talking later. Sorry, my dad called me. Okay, go ahead. Right, sorry. Uh, okay. Cool. Okay, be back. Right. So here we are, just less than an hour later. Are you there? Yeah. What you want to talk about? Says the decoy. I don't. What you want to talk? What? I don't what you want to talk about hmm, I don't quite know what he's getting at there what is your favourite group and that's only seven seconds later after he says I don't want I don't what you want to talk I don't know what you want to talk about maybe that's what he's saying uh, and then he sort of jumps on a very you know um, obvious kind of thing or oh, what kind of music you into it's a very predictably bland question um, I don't care I'm bored um, is probably a response to the first thing 
uh, and then she says Linkin Park, lol, cool, I like Green Day, well, Linkin Park is pretty cool too, I see your pick now, you're cute, no, the only beautiful one here is you, well, okay, she didn't say you was beautiful, dude, she said you was cute, um, so, um, and she's lying, and she's not real, so, get a grip, um, Oh, thank you. So, you ever been with an old guy before? Okay. You know, trying to establish what kind of character she's de is dealing with. Um, not yet is an interesting reply, as if to suggest that she's looking for it specifically. Um, and why you like older guys? Because boys my age are stupid. Lol, I agree. Oh, do you know? I bet you fucking do. Is the same problem when I was your age. Is the same problem when I was your age, really? Yep. A lot of guys won't talk to me on here, though. Which is an obvious drawing in tactic by the decoy of, you know, nobody will talk to me. Um, please give me your attention. You know, the, the, uh, it's kind of manipulation, but it doesn't really matter. Because nobody has got a, a, a leg to stand on with regard to the entrapment. Because just walk away. There's no reason at all for any of these people to be talking to a girl that age. So as far as I'm concerned, any tactics that they go to are okay. Are bearing threats of violence or, you know, stuff like that, obviously. Because you're not, you're not getting a genuine, you know, you're not getting a genuine situation then, are you? Which, you know, and then it would be entrapment. Uh... Uh, I am glad you are. Why? Because you are young. I don't know. I ain't no baby. You don't look like one. Just, you know, typical, predictable flattery. You have more pics, not on my new PC. My friend took that one. Okay, sorry, it's okay. What grade are you in? Nine, no, cool. Having good grades or just going through... This guy's grammar's shit. It's even worse than Lorne. He doesn't even put question marks or fucking emojis. Or There's no, like, character to him. He's, like, quite a dull person, isn't he? Like, come on, dude. Entertain us. I've got a fucking video to make here. <laughs> um, uh, any plans for college? But my dad got mad when we moved here from MI, Michigan. My grades kind of dropped. Yeah. What you like to study? in college my dad wants me to be like him but i want to be a teacher that is cool i want to be but, but, oh no i don't like where he's going with this that is cool i want to be a teacher too really cool yep you go to college question mark yes at the same time that i work what do you do i have a master already in education hmm, this is interesting Maybe he does, because he is, you know, a staff army sergeant. I work for the... I'll check that out if I do a second video. I'm not pausing now, I can't be bothered. Um, I work for the army. Cool, you're in the army. You're in the army now. Do you remember... You guys ever heard of Status Quo? Do you remember that really shit song? You're in the... Uh, I've been in Iraq two times. It's twice, prick. Um... I never met... No, You see, I can get away with projecting my anger on these people during this video. Um, you know what I mean? You can get away with it, can't you? If you're feeling a bit shit. Um, wow. Was you scared? Hell yeah, but once you get shot at four, four or five times, you're fine. Um... I know, like it shouldn't, but his grammar and his, his poor grammar and, and the way he writes is annoying me. Do you know what I mean? There's such a lot of lack of character that's coming across. Um, oh my god! I mean, you know, whether he did get shot at, I don't know. It's surprising, like, well, for somebody who's been through the wars, literally, and he's been shot at, is surprisingly easy for him to lose his cool. You know what I mean? You'd think he'd have held it together a bit better. Um, but you know that's not to say that that didn't happen. Every you know he's just he's just a sensitive character potentially. 
Uh, I finished my master. I'm going to be going out to become a teacher. I mean, what kind of teacher? We don't know. And this is, you know, this is inherent to the case. He's got this guy's so much to lose. Let's just, you know, presume that he's telling the truth here. Um, there's no specific indication that he's lying because he's already a staff army sergeant. So why brag about a pat, you know, a, a course that you're doing to be a teacher? It could be a way of drawing her in, but it's, you know, it would seem to be unnecessary. Um, so you know, planning to be a teacher, already in the army, he's got a family. It's like, dude, what are you doing? Um. That is so cool, but it's hard to do the same. That you're in the army, so probably going to take two. I wish I was in college now. Yeah, college is pretty good as long as you go to study. If you want to just have fun, you will lose your time and your money. Okay. Um. Yeah, I know a lot of guys like that. It's good you're going. Thank you. I hope you can go too. How long have you been in the army? Nine years. Wow, you must like it. You must really like it. You wanted. To, um. Actually, I do. What I don't like right now is so many deployments. Okay, it's understandable. But I just have to deal with it for, for four more years. Oh, you're married? Separated since six months ago. She cheat on me. Ooh, no, it's getting a bit interesting. It would, it would kind of make sense that that happened. I mean, we, you know, let's believe him until we get reason not to. Um... Separated six, six months ago. So we give a specific time frame. Um, you know, it could be that he's lying. But like I said, let's just go with it. Separated six months ago. She cheat on me. Married and looking for fun. Technically still married, but separated. So, you know, it would, it would ring true with regard to his screen name. Why you would put married and looking for fun? Because if you're looking for, I suppose if you're just looking for a quick way, but if you want a decent girl, surely she's not going to go for somebody called married and looking for fun. Um, but some people are just fucking stupid when you get down to it. You can't apply logic. Um, oh, you got kids, yep, two boys, twins. Fucking hell. They are cute. You like kids? F fucking question marks at the end of these sentences, you tosser. Um, ver are cute. I suppose it could be that English isn't his first language, so maybe, I, maybe I'm being a bit harsh. Yeah, I ain't got no brothers or sisters, so you live with both your parents. No, just my dad. My mum died last summer. That's an unusual... Um tactic to employ by the decoy isn't it the bere you know the 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 grieving daughter lost her mum it's hmm it's unusual hmm i'm not sure how i feel about that really like i said i don't suppose that it really matters but you know with regard to the tactics that they use oh sorry it's okay thank you I bet you miss her. Yeah, lots, I can imagine. So you have a lot of friends in here. He didn't really talk about the mum dying for much long, did he? It was pretty. bet you miss her, I can imagine. Let's move on. Um, so he's not really interested in getting into that. And also, you know, someone in his position, after hearing that, not that you would think that you know not that he's going to have a conscious to, a conscience to have started this type of conversation in the first place but um hearing that she is has lost the parents so young that would hopefully instill some kind of empathy and sympathy and you'd think well, fucking hell what am I doing hasn't this girl been through enough but some of these guys don't actually think they're doing anything wrong. There's different categories of these people. They haven't got enough awareness to recognise that they're really harming these people. They know it's wrong. They know it's illegal. But humans have a way of convincing themselves of the most horrific things to justify their actions. 
you know, it could be, oh, I'll treat her okay, I'll make her experienced, I'll look after her, you know what I mean? It's it's kind of, it obviously, you know, it, there's different, you know, it, it, it could be that he doesn't even, that, that that kind of thing doesn't even enter his brain. Um, and you know he's 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 like he, he he said there his twins are cute. He, he he's indicated there is evidence within his language that he's fond of his kids. Um, you know so it's it's a fucking weird one. Um, okay, so how are you from Michigan? How long have you been Georgia? About five months. Okay, that is cool. Like. You like it so far. It's okay. I miss my friends. Okay, I understand that. I miss my, I miss my friends in PR, PR, Puerto Rico. Okay, I'm Puerto Rican. Um, not much conversation about that. What do you, what you like to do for fun? I like riding my bike, skating, swimming, hockey. What you like? Music, movies, run truck. What? Movies, run trucks, run trucks, cook and just have fun. Run, oh right, okay, he didn't use enough fucking commas, did he? Right, let's sort this out, shall we? Movies, running, trucks, and... Being... A twat. Being a twat. There you go. That's what he likes doing. Uh, married and looking for fun. And yes, I am tired of being a being single. But something good about being in college and the army. It keep you busy. <laughs> it's annoying me now. But I can't. You know, like like I said, he's he's it's his second language, isn't it? He's in in. Uh, He's clear, he clearly, well, hang on a fucking minute, this motherfucker was going to be a teacher, and he's not mastered the, uh, he's not mastered the English language yet, which, is, listen, I'm not, do you get what I'm saying? I'm allowed to have a go at the guy, alright, um, <laughs> um, yeah, I bet you are busy lots, yep. What are we on here now? Um, right, okay. Still got a bit of time left. Uh, yeah, this week weekend we're gonna be we're going to the field for five days, starting tomorrow night for what train? Ing, be right back, Dad. Okay. Um, K okay, back. Sorry, it's okay. I understand, sweetie. Oh fucking hell! Sounds like Dustin. Um, you far from where I live. I don't know lots of places. I don't know exactly where you live. That's a fucking good point. By Columbus. Okay, let's me find out how far you are. K. Is a little far, but I don't mind. I can drive. You sound pretty interesting to meet. Really? That would be so cool. We can meet not for the weekend of the 4th of July. The ne What the fuck are you going on about, dude? We can meet not the weekend of the 4th of July. Oh, right, the week after. Right, okay, why don't you just fucking say the fucking 21st, you tosser. Um, my dad be going out of town to a convention in July. Okay, that must be the date of the sting then. I can find out what... What days? That be cool. Yeah, cause I just be here by myself. So I mean, literally, we're we're in the first day, and we've already established quite a bit. Um, they've already, you know, they've already talked about meeting. Um, when roughly it's gonna be. Uh, he's set his stall out. What he's after. He's divulged a lot about his personal life. So is she gone quite a lot, there's been no graphic talk, sex hasn't even been mentioned, just do you like older guys, um, so it's been kind of a mellow as far as these conversations go, chat, it'll be interesting to see how, how long it takes for him to go graphic, um, can I, can, you can ask me anything you want, oh right, and here, you know, I think, I think, 
this is where, you know, even though I was just saying it's getting mellow, maybe this is his way of changing, trying to steer it in the sexual direction. <sighs> I don't know any question in your head. I ain't never been with no one. Okay, well, that's kind of what he wants to hear, isn't it? Wow. You know what I mean? That Well, why is it a wow when she's 14? You know what I mean? It's wow because that's what he wants to hear and it makes him excited. It's not wow, wow, that's unusual. It's wow, fucking hell, I'm getting a boner. Um, but I want to. Oh, okay. Um, okay. <laughs> uh, my friends ain't virgins any more. Yeah, just find out what dates you're doing. <laughs> wow, isn't that? Look at that, right? As soon as she says that, and this is quite a bold statement for a decoy to come out with. My friends ain't virgins anymore. And I, you know, she wants to join the club. Uh, and um, he immediately, after only nine seconds, goes, um, yeah, just find out what dates your daddy's going out and we see if I can go in that time. So it's like, there's no... It's, it's immediately, I need to meet this girl. You know what I mean? It's straight away. He's, he's typed it as soon as he's seen that because it's took nine seconds and with his English skills that's probably a good fucking nine seconds to write all that it's pretty good so he's a pretty prolific kid of there um, and you don't want to be a virgin no more and it's difficult to know if that's actually a question or he's actually telling her because the fucker doesn't use question marks um, nope interesting Mm, it certainly is, dude, isn't it? That's what you're thinking. Why? Because you're so beautiful. And you don't want to be... She says, no, I don't want to be a virgin. He says, that's interesting. She says, why? And then he says, because you were so beautiful. Well, that doesn't make any fucking sense. Ah, oh, thank you. You're welcome. Boys like me and stuff, but I don't like... Wh oh, right, I thought that was him then. I was like, what the fuck are you going on about, dude? Um, boys like me and stuff, but I don't like them. You're still there. Yeah, what's wrong? Nothing. I'm just thinking... Thinking in how lucky I am to meet a beautiful lady as yourself. You see, that's completely out of context with what's going on in the chat here. So I think he's getting that excited by what he's heard and that she's a virgin and she wants to lose it and they can meet, that he's literally just throwing on really transparent flattery. I'm just thinking how lucky I am to meet a beautiful lady as yourself and he's referring to her as a lady as if she's grown up, which fucking girls that age would love to hear from someone that they thought was a grown up. Um... Am I looking for fun? That just about sums this guy's character. Nothing. Space. Emptiness. Vastness. Void. Um, uh, 14 year old decoy. I like you. Fucking hell. Spice it up a bit. Come on. 14 year old decoy. You, uh, you're nice. I like you. You're nice. Thank you. It's... I do like this chat log, but it doesn't have to get a bit... I suppose we're used to Mr. Penis and fucking nieces and bloody go down there and do all that. You know what I mean? Everything else is just bland in comparison. Uh, so what you like to do when we meet if it's not in the dates that your dad is out of town... Uh, what do you like to do? Whatever you want. I guess the best time to meet will be in the morning too. Cool. I like that. Hmm. Probably so we can get more time with her. So what is your address so I can make an exact... Fucking hell, dude. Slow down. This is literally how excited he is. Um, I ain't giving you that now. I met a boy, what boy once on here and in... Well, hang on. Lol, I ain't giving you that now i met a boy once on here in michigan and gave him my addit and he came when my dad was home lol 
I got in trouble. You're stupid, I guess. Don't worry. When we pit, when we meet, I pick you up like around the corner from your house. Fucking hell! So we'd even go there if the dad was it. Fucking hell, dude. He's going to leave some time. He's going to leave someone to take care of. You. Is he okay? No, and meeting somewhere else is cool. Okay, so I guess if he is away, we can meet at your house then. Can I call you sometime, like tomorrow or something? Yes, you can. Yeah, if he's gone, you can come here. And the thing is as well, I would imagine that they won't want to give the address out too quickly because they might. he might do some like tre- checks on the address and see if it's a, re- you know, try and find out who lives there, scope out the address. It's like, hang on a minute, why is there a load of cameras there? Do you know what I mean? Um, so that's, that's kind of a, that's kind of an issue. Um, I kind of... Um, I don't mind. It's, it's all right going through this, actually. So, we've done about 30 minutes, so we will end it there. And I will continue if you have enjoyed it. Let me know if you think this is worth going through. Um, something, well, I say something a bit different, isn't it? This all mainly what I do, but it's to just go over a chat log I've never done done before in detail isn't something i've done for a while so uh, since the dusting chat log that, that was a long hard slog that jesus but any guys anyway guys could you please let me know if you've enjoyed this if you want part two um yeah any comments you've got about this guy or anything you've noticed in the chat that i've not picked up on um and yeah so guys thank you very much i'll speak to you soon